coming to Dorset. There you go. Lovely. Thank you very much, Rog. Now, Stonehenge has witnessed some unusual things over the years, yes, it's isn't nice. it? If only those stones could talk. <laughs> well, last night it played host to the cast and crew of, wait for it, Doctor Who. Yes, oh, indeed, but as Sally sports, Challoner <laughs> reports, Tardis, fans yes. and crews were kept in suspense. It could be a landscape from another world, but this was Stonehenge at around midnight with the help of some TV magic. Coach loads of crew and tons of expensive kit was brought in, eerily at odds with the Neolithic backdrop. With filming shrouded in secrecy, only the most ardent of fans pressed their faces up against the fence. Well, I've been a fan of Doctor Who since I was five, so 35 years now, and um, this is the first chance I've got to see it being filmed. Um, the closest I've been is to a waxwork Tom Baker before, so this is exciting. Not a Dalek in sight and no sign of the TARDIS here. But what was this strange globe? And what storyline is all this setting up? Filming continued into the night. Only the Time Lord and his crew know what secrets the stones will give up sometime in the future on our small screens. Sally Challoner, BBC South Today. There's no way that they were going to show anything no. of that, were they? <laughs> it was so locked down, yes. that set, eh? Don't get to I see love the, the way evil you monsters. Said, I missed it when you said it, but you said, I don't think we were saying, is that a police box? Yes, no, it's a TARDIS, it's a TARDIS. It? TARDIS. <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> OK, Sarah, what are we looking at over um, the next few days?